Hello everybody, hot off the press, new anomalies discovered at a site in Citra. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. This is in a region of Mars called Terra Serenum. I discovered these anomalies in the photograph called Monitoring Dust Devil Tracks, acquired on the 15th of June 2024 at a resolution of 25.4 centimeters per pixel. And I'll be showing you images I cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file. This one's 491 megabytes in size. And yeah, we're looking at a crop from the low res black and white photograph. And the anomalies I'll be showing you are some of these white dots that litter the site. So the site we're analyzing is there in Citra at roughly 59 degrees 1 minute south 142 degrees 0 minutes west we'll have a look at the site and some of the other anomalies close by towards the end of the video as always I'm including a scale indicator to give you an approximate idea of how large these items are so let's zoom in on this one right there, folks. This is, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So this is about 12 meters in length. Check this out. It's got layers to it. Very odd looking. It's got nice straight edges and right angles to it as well. One of these are pieces of it that broke off. And it reminds me of two other items that have got a similar layered look. Also this flat rectangular type of structured look. So check that out folks. Very, very awesome. Right, let's zoom in on the items over there. And it's got a very shiny metallic look to it as well we've got two rectangular parts next one another in this layout i don't quite know what's going on here this also looks like sheet metal it's very odd could this be some type of wreckage right let's have a look at this piece it's about 9 to 10 meters in length. It's also got a layered look to it. Hollowed out on this one side with something inside that hollowed out area. I like the way this piece that curves around the top follows the same geometry of this larger piece. This looks highly sculpted. Right, this is also very cool. I'd say this piece is about 12 to 14 meters in length. Nice straight edges. And then we've got these hollowed out parts underneath it. It looks almost like a magnetic bar with these uh, patterns that you get from the magnetic field. Not that that is, folks, but this is ultra weird. This dark shadow here. Very intriguing. Right, let's have a look at the pieces of here to the right. And this part is about 10 meters in length. It's also got a sculpted look to it. And then this odd piece over here to the left. I don't know, what could these be? Uh, parts of wreckage? Something that broke apart? Sculptures? artistic pieces 
Right, check out the small circular dome like parts on this. Very bright. It's almost as if some of these are floating. This is very odd. Check those out. Three in a row there, spaced evenly apart. And then these three objects in a row also spaced equally apart. A little dome on this object over here to the right. Over there as well. These look almost like mushrooms. These three got the smaller semi-dome-like parts in their centers. Alright, let's have a look at this piece. It also looks highly metallic. It's got a very smooth finish to it. Neat hole on the one side and directly opposite to it we've got that semicircular part. Looks almost as if this is open here on the sides. Could that be a little dwelling and then the boulders in this area with this type of appearance so this sticks out like a sore finger check out this shiny piece as well it's about 15 meters across again I don't know what to make of this folks as always, let's have a chat in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think these might be. Right, let's have a look at these two parts. Got two little discs or dishes. Small part in the center on that one. And this has got an odd piece to the one side. Very strange. Right, let's have a look at this. It seems to consist of segments, like slices in a cake. It's very weird. And there's other objects very similar to this. So this is about, let's see, 10 meters across So it's got like segments or wedges next to one another, forming that round shape. Right, let's have a look at this to the right. This block is about 8 by 6 meters in size. Got a smaller part to the one side. And then this groove or slot that runs through the center of both. Very really sort of molded, rounded shape to it. Alright, let's check out these items. This long piece is about 12 meters in length. Neat, straight edges and right angles. It seems like this rectangular port is surrounded by two thin pieces like this is a sort of container with this rectangular port inside it to get these thin pieces there's another one of those round parts with a small hole or protrusion on top right there in its center. Alright, let's have a look at this highly sculpted looking piece. It's about 10 to 12 meters in length. Got a circular dish shape there. And then this rectangular part 
seems to be sticking out on this one side. Check out the slot on that disc. Right, let's have a look at the items there. This block is about 10 to 12 meters in length. Again, nice straight edges and right angles. Uniformity in the thickness of both of those pieces. Right. This object it's about 8 meters across and it seems to consist of like triangular wedge parts possibly open on the one side another very weird piece that looks sculpted these pieces look almost like lead that melted. Very odd. Got like a thumbnail look to this one piece. Seems to be on top of a larger oval piece. And then these two sort of teardrop shapes on either side of this overarching piece that joins in the center on this oval part. Right, let's have a look at that object there to the left. This is about 8 meters across and again it looks like wedges joined together to form this uh, circular piece and then that appears open on the right hand side it's got like layers to it as well and there those three are for comparison so it's very odd how they've got the same sort of triangular pieces that form these larger parts right about 10 meters in length another one of these sculpted in appearance type of objects again it looks like molten lead looks like a piece of machinery right yeah as well this is about 10 to 12 meters across rounded semicircular part on the right and then one on the left they seem to be joined together somehow also layers to it it's also got like triangular parts to it it's almost like piping and finally the item over there about 12 meters in length also has this layered look to it so very metallic looking 90 degree angle there I've got no clue what these items could be folks right heading down to Citra a circular depression according to Google Earth Mars and yes, the photograph we analyzed 
and then for some context we have Terracimeria here to the left and to the right that region is called Ionia Terra. Let's have a closer look at those anomalies briefly again. And then, for good measure, let's check out some of the other anomalies close by. This is near Chamberlain. Just move that across. Got like a monolithic block there, about five meters tall. Nice dome shape next to a rectangular port. That's very unusual to see. Like a rectangular opening to this port. And then this piece of here to the right seems to be bent over slightly to the center. And then this here, uh, partial hexagonal shape. Looks almost like a huge tombstone. That there's about 10 meters across. And then more highly sculpted, sort of metallic-like looking parts. And then an obelisk type anomaly over there about four to five meters in height. And with that said, we've reached the end of this presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up, share it with like-minded friends, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the notification bell and the option all. That way you'll know when I upload my next video. As always, thanks for watching.